Okay, again, here, oh, no, I still have my mask on. This is the exercise on conservation of linear momentum, where we are going to be setting up some collisions between masses. And we know we can measure, if we know the velocity and the mass of each object before and after collision, we can calculate the momentum and the momentum before and after the collision should be the same. As we've done before, this is an air track. I'm using two masses, these two carts. The first part is the collision of two equal masses, one of which is stationary. I've made sure these two masses are exactly the same. They are 223.8 grams each. I've measured the length of the flag in the photocell gates. In this case, this cart's going to move through this photocell gate, strike this, the stationary cart, and this cart will move through this photo cell gate. And I've already measured the length of the flag, effective length as we've done on the Newton second law and inclined plane exercises. And both of these have an effective length of exactly 9.6 centimeters. So I'll set up the first collision. And to make sure I start the same way each time, you'll notice at the end of this uh, air track there's a spring. I'm going to pull this back, say this far, release it, the spring will push it. So I know I'm putting the same amount of force on each of these carts each time I do the exercise. I want it to always be the same. Otherwise, pushing it by hand, a little difficult because your initial velocity keeps changing depending on how you push it. So let's start this and let's see what we come up with. <laughs> 